guys welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a September book review video like all the books I read in September reviewing them telling you guys my ratings I do get all my books from the library so I have returned lots of them like most of them from this month because they were due so I gave them back so I'm not gonna have the physical copies for lots of these books so I'll just like put a picture up but I have been really into reading lately I'm doing a new school program and it's a lot less work so it's allowed me to actually read for fun because I loved reading when I was like little but I kind of stopped once I started this new like homeschooling program because the reading was insane like we would read multiple books a month over the year it was like 20 books and they were like bad historical I did not like them at all so it took the joy out of reading for me and I didn't have any time or desire to read for fun but now I do oh wait so I'm gonna start with some books that I actually read the end of August because I'm not gonna do an August recap video because I only read like a couple the very first book that I read um which actually started me getting into this and like putting like freaking hundreds of books on hold at the library was on the come up by the girl who wrote the hate you give i do not remember her name like i said i'll put a picture basically i was going to the library to get the hate you give and i had to put it on hold so the person there was like oh but like on the come up is like not technically a sequel but it's by the same author and you know it has similarities and we have it here, so in the meantime, like, when you wait for that, do you want to read it? I'm like, sure, absolutely. So, I ended up reading that, and I, I enjoyed it. It was, like, over 400 pages, and I read it in, like, four days. So, I'd say that's, like, pretty good. Looking back, it wasn't my favorite compared to some of the other ones I read, but, like, at the time, like... I thought it was super great. I would probably rate it like four stars. I'm also very easy to please when it comes to books, you guys. Keep that in mind. My ratings are maybe higher than like someone else would rate them because I am so easy to please. Like I'm not picky with books at all. But yeah, I rated it four stars because I read it in a few days and it was like a very long book. So I don't want to give like spoilers in this video. It was about this girl who like wanted to be a rapper and she was like black and she like had some difficulties and if you guys know the hate you give it very much has similarities and follows kind of like the same idea just with like an element of like singing competition there was a little romance in there which i did like so overall yeah i rated it four stars okay the next book i read the next book i read you guys i could not okay the next book i read was all this time by the same authors as five feet apart five feet apart is probably my favorite movie of all time i have such an emotional attachment to this movie and i loved the book and when i heard that there was another book written by the same author i was like you bet your bottom i am going to the library and getting it that's the book that sparked this all i wanted to get that book so i went to the library put it on hold and then just ended up getting a bunch of other stuff and discovering that reading for fun is great when it's books you like um but oh my goodness oh my goodness this is the best book i've ever read basically it's like a sappy romance did i mention that i'm a sucker for romance romance is literally all i would read and all of these are romances if i didn't i think it's a good time to mention that if you're not a romance gal like hmm, these are all romances because i'm a romance girl through and through i eat breathe sleep crave live romance like young adult cringy sappy romance so this was so cute it was so cute the writing was amazing because it's the same author as five feet apart it was all from the guy's point of view but i loved that like i literally loved it so much the plot twist the plot twist because here's my thing, I will read just like a sappy, swoon-worthy romance with no plot twist, the whole plot is romance, but when it has a plot twist, when it has a plot twist, and this was one of the few from this batch that had a plot twist, and the plot twist, I'm taking a shot every time I just said plot twist, the plot twist was amazing, it was so unpredictable I mean maybe I'm just like dumb but like no it was I was not expecting that whatsoever the ending was amazing I think one of the biggest things in a book deciding if it's good or not is the ending 
and I was like, this has been so good, but I'm scared for the ending, but the ending was amazing. It pulled through. I cannot explain my love for this book. I want to, like, buy it and have it forever because I want to read it again because it is literally the best book ever. Then the next one I read was The Hate You Give. I need to, like, go faster because this book is will be so long. Now this is one of my favorite movies ever, like top three favorite movies. That's why I wanted to read the book. I had watched the movie first and I loved it so much. I was like, well, I may as well like read the book if I loved the movie so much. And it took me a while to read. Like it took me the longest to read out of all the books, but I think it's just because I knew what was happening. Like I didn't have that element of like cliffhanger suspense, like, ooh, what's gonna happen? Ooh, I gotta read the next chapter because I knew what was coming because I watched the movie. So I would recommend if you haven't seen the movie to read the book first and then watch the movie. Just because it was kind of like hard to read it when I knew what was happening, right? But I mean, it was still great. Like I love the plot, I love the storyline, I love the romance in there, I love the characters, I love everything about the movie. So the book was obviously good. I will say I liked the movie better. There were some scenes in the movie that were in the book that I wish were in there. And I loved the ending of the movie. One of my favorite things about the movie was the ending. And it was a different ending in the book, which I didn't love. So I think if you read the book first and then watch the movie, you'll be like pleasantly surprised by the movie. So I'd recommend doing that. But I read it that one. Shoot. I'm gonna have to look and put these on the screen because I can't remember. The next book I read was um, Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon and I really liked this one. It was just like a super cute, fun, like young adult romance. That's another thing, all these books are like young adult, like clean, no spice because I just am not about that. I don't love that in movies or books. I don't really see the point, so... Yeah, these were all like no spice, but it was, yeah, it was just super cute and it had, again, it had a plot twist that I was like, oh, oh girl. Um, I will say I would love to see a second made because they don't like resolve the conflict necessarily. Like they kind of do, like it ends well, but they could easily make a second one kind of going off of the first. I, I don't want to spoil like I said, but I'll just say the plot twist wasn't like resolved and so I would love to see a second main addressing it more. But I really like this one. I loved the cover and how it had the like couple on it because then I could imagine what the characters looked like. The boy had a man bun and I was like <sighs> just dying. Yeah, this one, I think I rated four stars. It was one of my favorites I read of the month, though. Okay, the next one I read was Imagine Us Happy. This one, okay, this one, the back of it, like, the kind of description said, if you're looking for a happy ending, this isn't the book for you, and that got me because I love sad endings, I love heart-wrenching endings, so I was like, yes, this is good. In my opinion, this was not a sad or heart-wrenching ending. I will kind of tell you what happened just because I don't recommend this book at all. <laughs> so I don't think anyone's gonna read it, but this girl was in kind of like a toxic relationship. Like on one hand, it was like great and it was super cute, but then on the other hand, they were fighting a lot and it was just kind of like a mix. Like it just wasn't the healthiest. And so the book ended where they broke up. And then, you know, where usually in a romance, the characters would be get back together and they would live happily ever after. I cannot talk. <laughs> Instead of that, they just broke up. And I was like, that's not necessarily sad because, like, this is a toxic relationship. Like, it was almost happy because it's like you got out of that. So I was thoroughly disappointed. I was expecting a sad ending from that, but it was really just meh, anticlimactic, like not it. It was a longer book too, and I was so invested. Reading it, I was like, I love this, like this is my favorite so far. I loved the style of it. The author's like chapters were all over the place, like there would be like chapter, I think it started at like chapter 70 and then went back to 1 and then it would go to like 35, like it was all kind of sporadic but it worked and I thought that it was like unique and I was like I love this writing style, like I love this, it's good because it was relatable, like it showed like real life fights between like them, like in their relationship which was like relatable, obviously I've never been in a relationship but like in friendships and stuff you know it was nice not to just have like this perfect life. And then it just ended so blah. 
I was like, ugh. So the whole reading it was great. I was so invested. It was gonna be my favorite, but the ending, I was like, what was the point of that? I don't really know the point. So that one disappointed me. Like on one hand it was great, but then the ending really just made it flop. Okay, the next one I read was We Were Liars, which this one was the only one that wasn't like a pure romance but it did have a big romance part in it. And I have to say, I thoroughly enjoyed this one because the ending, the ending, you guys, was so good. The plot twist, so, so good. The romance also was very nice. Like, I loved it. So I think there's a second book I definitely am going to read because I really enjoyed this one. This doesn't mean that I'm going to stray away from romance and go into like other categories. I know I am still a romance queen, but I will like slowly try other books. Like I have a few like thrillers and mysteries on my list. Like for every 10 romance, I have like one other, you know, I think that's a good mix. Yeah, I, I liked it, but it like it wasn't the best book I've ever read. The ending was definitely amazing and made it amazing, but it was really interesting. Like it was, it was kind of confusing at times. I've never read anything like it, so I mean I recommend. Right, I think I gave it four and a half stars maybe. So yeah, I would recommend. The next book I read was The Summer Between Us, which was like just a short, like this was a cringy, sappy romance. That is all this was, which your girl loves. Like haters will hate, but like I love, I love this. Like, okay, this is off topic, but to all the boys I've loved before, people talk so much crap about the third one being so cringy and cheesy. I don't know about you, but I love that and I watched that movie multiple times. I like that like I just I do so <laughs> yeah this one was probably my least favorite probably worse than imagine is happy just because like imagine is happy was so good until it wasn't and this one was just like mad the whole way through do I regret reading it no was it still like a nice cheesy little read yes but it didn't really have a point it was very predictable the whole thing was just super predictable the ending once they break up and then oh get back together but i will say something that i liked is that it was i think the author was canadian if not they said it in canada so like they had tim horns like they had canadian references and i was like oh i know this place which did make it more enjoyable which i really liked <laughs> i'm trying to think what other ones that's three <laughs> Okay, next one was How to Build a Heart, I think it was called. I loved this one. This one was so good. I just, I really loved, like, the whole plot. I loved the kind of plot twist. Like, it was a, I'm just, like, totally sucking at doing this book review, not telling you any of the tropes, but this one was a, I don't know what, like, trope it's called, but a friend was in love with her best friend's crush. And then the friend the how do I explain this the girl that had the crush her best friend ended up with her best friend's crush <laughs> okay it was like if you were to have a crush on someone I would end up with them like that's how it was which I really loved yeah this one was just super great like I don't have a ton to say about it except for that it was just a very fun romance read and it also had some other kind of elements to it that weren't just like solely romance which I really liked and um, I would recommend it. I think I'm gonna rate it a four stars because it was just like an overall good enjoyable book. Okay moving on this book The Loose Ends List. I read a hundred pages and stopped. I could not. Um, it is just a little inappropriate like <laughs> not like not inappropriate because i'm 17 like obviously it's not inappropriate for my age it's just like i don't like that like i cringe at that i think it's a little gross like i don't like i i i want just like like i said non-spicy innocent young adult romance and this was a little weird the whole plot was like this girl's grandma was dying so she booked them an eight week cruise for her like last eight weeks of life but this cruise was like all dead like people who were dying like the cruise was intended for people who just wanted to live the last eight weeks of life and then at the end they would like 
tossed them overboard like it was pretty morbid and weird I thought it would be totally different I was not expecting that at all so I did not recommend this book at all whatsoever yeah that was really weird <laughs> I couldn't finish it I was like why am I forcing myself to read something that I've not enjoyed at all the next book oh no the next book I read I'm almost done was love a la mode um this one I loved I absolutely loved. I read this in two days, which was the fastest of every single book that I read this month. And it's not super short. It's like over 300 pages. I loved this. The, the chapters were like the five feet apart build. They were like, they swap between the characters. So like Rosie, and then the next chapter would be Henry. Which I love that style of writing. I just, I love the layout. I think it's so enjoyable to read. And this had me hooked. Like, I literally read it in two days. I loved it so much. It was just, like, a pure romance. But it did have, like, a... They were at school, at culinary school. And so there was, like, a baking kind of, like, cooking component and, like, competition. Like, it was almost like reading a... Master Chef book like it was fun how they kind of incorporated that in I honestly am a fan of like Master Chef chopped sh like on Netflix I watch like Sugar Rush all those like baking competition shows so I really really enjoyed it, it even says in here like perfect for lovers of chopped teen tournament and kids baking championship as well as anyone who dreams of a romantic trip to France like yeah I love like I dream of going to Paris so this was just everything I think it was probably maybe my favorite I don't know it was like kind of anticlimactic like it didn't have a big ending like we were liars but it was just like a swoon worthy romance and like that's all I asked for in a book so I loved this okay and then the very last book which I am actually currently reading I've been a little impatient so I'm not done this yet I have about like just over 100 pages left but it is only a breath apart by Katie McGarry and I love love it has taken me not a while it's been like three days it's been three days so like it's not you know my fastest read but I am really enjoying it I'm loving this author I'm definitely going to get more from her because it's like very much romance but very much like other things like a mystery you know like it's not just solely romance which is just like different to most of the books that I read so yeah I'm really enjoying it and I will update you in my October um video on what I think of it in the end so that is all for this video I know it's like kind of long I'll edit it down to make it like not too too long but I read a total of one like if you're including the ones that I like haven't finished one two three four five six seven eight nine i think i read nine books this month which is a lot i won't read that much every month my goal is to read 60 books this year which is like roughly five to six books a month so i'm like on track i'm ahead if there's a month that i just read one book then that'll be fine because your girls are reading spree right now but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys so so much and i will see you in another one bye